serious question to all you guys out there what makes you never want to settle down mainly watching what happens to men that settle down this is a depiction of a man endlessly pouring attention onto a woman's ovaries and her remaining unappreciative uh, this also is something that happens after commitment she goes please commit to me and we go okay and she goes fuck you I've dubbed this term the FFB, which stands for the forever fuckboy. It's really more of an intermittent thing. Here's an example schedule. Not very many breaks in between. I mean, is it like something that happens like in the birth canal? Exactly the opposite. This is my experience and this is how much I trust women and this is when I started lifting weights. <whistles> I, I got to see how women treat short-term men and it's like, why would I be long-term? I totally get it if obviously you are attractive and successful and you can still pull but i mean i've met men in their 50s in their 60s some even in their 70s and they're still single well i'm not gonna just forget this like how does one become an ffb it's experience we all start out as good boys we watched our disney movies just like you and then when we get into the dating pool we start to understand okay well things are not really like the movies but that's okay and we learn how to interact some of us end up getting good at it and when you get good at it that just destroys you. You just go, why would I ever commit to anyone? Here, I drew you up some game theory. This is a, a good girl and a bad girl and a good boy and a bad boy. And this is loyal and not loyal. And this is loyal and not loyal. So this is why I say that experience destroys innocence. Because we usually all start out good. We usually start out as good boys and good girls. And we both want to be here. I want to be loyal and get loyalty and then we're both happy but we don't know when we're dating a cheater there's no label they don't come with a, a sticker so if I trust you and I think we're here and then I find out you're not trustworthy well now we're at my last option and I can't get you to be loyal that never works so my only option is to also stop being loyal which is my third favorite option it's the second one for the bad boy because he prefers having other girls over loyalty and it works the same way with you when you trust a guy and he cheats that's your least favorite option and then you have to switch which is your third and after enough of that getting hurt by the secret bad girl like going from one to four is a hell of an experience so after all that experience sometimes some of us get to a point where it's like you know what I think I just prefer getting my way I don't think I like loyalty anymore because it hasn't gotten me anything good in the past so now I prefer when you're loyal and I'm not and then my second choice is if if you're not gonna be loyal then I won't either even when I do trust you it doesn't work out so why don't I just start off not trusting you and because of the the sexual revolution we now are at a point where nobody's offering loyalty to start and everybody is I'm seeing other people you're seeing other people and if I am a good guy deep down and you are a good girl deep down that's my third favorite thing and your third favorite thing but still nobody stands to benefit by switching if I am seeing other people and I stop now I'm a sucker because you're seeing other people and I'm not and if you become loyal but I don't now you're a sucker because now you're just one of my many girls so what you're leaving out of the equation is the female version of the FFB the main reason that these guys turn into these guys is because we met too many of these girls and we don't know how to tell you apart so now seeing multiple people is normal no relationships start like this anymore they all start like this and it's a Mexican standoff because nobody can improve their position by becoming loyal and when good people end up here enough they just turn bad so it hurts less and is there a cure yeah the cure is for everyone to actually be good which is not gonna happen because the equilibrium is over here because if you keep saying well men are doing it so I'm gonna do it too then these guys are gonna say well women are doing it so I'll do it too we used to have culture and laws that enforced this and if anyone stepped out of it then they had to pay and when you get rid of that what you end up with is called a Nash equilibrium where everybody's getting their third favorite choice unless you are a genuinely bad person in which you're getting your second favorite choice so yeah the cure is to go back to law and culture that enforces monogamy sorry enjoy your liberation